l'Université néerlandaise à Bruxelles. Euh, donc je vais vous laisser vous présenter. Quels sont les grands thèmes enseignés en sciences et communication okay. It's true that uh, so I, I'm uh, I'm working at uh, the Vrije Universiteit Brussel, so l'Université Libre de Bruxelles, and I have to. It's also why I'm talking in, in English now. I have to apologize to all the people watching this and, and are probably French speakers. I also give my, teach my courses here in English. In, at, the, at the university in Brussels, we are now starting with an English language master, a master in new media in Europe. And this is really the focus of what we try to uh, uh, teach. It is all the non-technical aspects of new media and information and communication technologies. Huh? So the business aspects and the economic aspects, how to get a new um, uh, media product or service to the market, the policy aspects and the regulatory aspects, how to regulate uh, this market, and the user aspects and the societal aspects, how do users and how the society react. So those are the three big themes that we try to uh, uh, teach about and we try to do research about at the University of Brussels. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Est-ce que les étudiants en Belgique qui sont uh, addicts, uh, geeks des nouvelles technologies et lesquels utilisent-ils au quotidien? Uh, it, uh, uh, it depends a little bit. Some of them are very geek and they will use their iPhone and they will have their laptops. They will all, all be on Facebook and they will be using Twitter and they will be using uh, wikis when I do the exams, the examination, and they leave the exam room, then one minute later I can see on the wiki of the students, I can see the questions of the exams and their answers and they put them there. So I, I, I <laughs> for some uh, things I think that they are very uh, geeky and that they are very well aware of, uh, of uh, what is happening. But of course there are a lot of other things, a lot of uh, new things, a lot of things that we don't know about how Facebook works, how Google works, how these new technologies work. So we try to teach them really also to look behind just the nice new service, the nice new product. It's not just some uh, fancy little tool. It, it really, there is a whole business and there is a whole societal uh, reorganization uh, 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 behind that. They are as geeky as the as the students here in Angers. Est-ce que vous-même dans votre enseignement vous utilisez ces outils-là? We have a, um, an intranet uh, platform at the university, online education platform that we use for uh, for interaction with the students. We did develop a couple of years ago. We developed our own alternative to Facebook, so to speak. Of course, Facebook became a little bit more. Uh, uh, successful uh, than ours, but we s we still use that platform sometimes for uh, uh, communi communication with students. Très bien. Uh, ne, tr ne trouvez-vous pas que les TIC, les nouvelles technologies uh, d'information et de la communication, de il y a dix ans, uh, elles étaient secondaires et elles prennent de plus en plus une place uh, prépondérante uh, au cœur des médias, dans l'actualité et même dans l'enseignement maintenant, on pourrait plus s'en passer. Uh, on pourrait dire que c'est uh, on est en plein boom. Qu'est-ce que qu'est-ce que vous en pensez? Yeah. Que vous dire? yeah, I think uh, I think this is uh, this is correct. That only now are we really starting to see the real impact of these uh, new technologies, uh, ICT technologies in in uh, real life. I think um, our research center uh, started 20 years ago. We were born in the in the same year as the World Wide Web uh, uh, started in 1990. Um, and I think for the first 10, 15 years, we were looking at the internet, we were looking at tele telecommunications, we were looking at new media as something isolated, as something very interesting, but it was an isolated topic of research. And I think what we are seeing now in the, uh, in the past couple of years is that it has really uh, spread out through all the sectors and all the domains of society and of economy. It, it really has become this kind of general purpose technology um, that, is I that is influencing all sorts of, of, uh, uh, of domains. Uh, if you look at, if you buy a car, it's no longer a car, it's a computer on wheels. Uh, if you are in the, in the agro uh, food 
uh, business, a whole part of your uh, of your of your business is knowing how to deal with uh, electronic uh, communication and information devices. So it's much much wider than just this isolated sector that we were studying for the past uh, 20 years. And this is, I think, the the big breakthrough that we are really seeing that it is. Uh, uh, let's say permeating all those uh, all those different domains and sectors uh, in society. Mm -hmm. um, Est-ce qu'on pourrait pas dire que c'est un nouveau mode de vie qui s'impose à nous euh, d'une certaine manière? Est-ce qu'on ne serait pas un peu dépassé? Est-ce que c'est difficile à maîtriser toutes ces technologies? Well, I think that there are some some uh, some real challenges uh, when you think about um, how people use technologies. I think what we have learned for the past few years is that you don't, you shouldn't just offer technologies, but really what creates real value, what creates real innovation is how people then start to use those technologies. Mm. What, we, what we also call the domestication, people domesticate technologies and they put them into their daily routines. We have to make sure that uh, as innovators, as research community, as development community, we have to make sure that the, the concerns about how these technologies will affect people's lives, how people have the power over those technologies to change them, to adapt them uh, so that they can better use them, that this is really taken on board right from the start. And this is why we created this concept, this network of uh, the European network of living labs, which means that you take real users, communities of users, you let them play with prototypes, with new ideas, with new concepts, with, uh, with uh, uh, new products, and you really, and then you try to see how they adapt them to their lives. So you really try to bring in those concerns from the first moment that you start to think about a new product or service. Et pour vous, l'innovation, I think they, that they are all very good examples mm -hmm. eh? because they, they were all very successful in, uh, let's say, taking the innovative power that is there with users, with, with uh, small companies and giving them a platform to develop their own uh, innovations. So I think that they are all uh, highly successful. I guess as most people, I'm addicted to my mobile phone to my smartphone time that's that i would say is the technology that i use most yeah. okay. thank you merci d'avoir uh, répondu à cette interview et puis on espère vous revoir bientôt à Angers okay thank you very merci. much glad to be here